Money exchangers are back in business after a month-long strike. They were protesting against the crackdown by Lebanon's government after it blamed them for the rapid devaluation of the local currency, the lira. It has lost more than 60 percent of its value since October. They've now agreed to an exchange rate cap, hoping it will drop to 3,200 lira to the dollar in two weeks. It's not the first attempt to control the money markets. But even with the rate of 3,000 or 3,500, the central bank will face another problem because it will exhaust its foreign reserves. The market might be controlled for a couple of days, but in the long run, we will have more than one exchange rate in the market. Lebanon is facing its worst economic crisis in decades. Foreign currency has stopped flowing in, and its reserves are dwindling. Banks, which have imposed their own capital controls, no longer give out dollars, making everyday transactions difficult for people in an import-dependent economy. Because of this inflation and the, the, the rate that has changed from $1,500 to $4,000, our life has dramatically changed, to be honest. We cannot maintain any more the same lifestyle that we have, unfortunately. The official exchange rate of 1,500 lira to the dollar remains in place to import basic goods like wheat and fuel. Other rates are being used. For example, dollar depositors can sell up to $4,000 a month at the rate of 3,000, while the rate of 3,200 was set by the central bank for money transfer companies. This is affecting the government's talks with the International Monetary Fund. That's demanding to move to a flexible exchange rate before discussing any financial assistance. The government argues floating the currency without foreign creditors' support will have a disastrous social impact. Many Lebanese are already struggling, and many businesses have shut down. We have been badly affected. We lost 80% of our business due to the dollar crisis. We are buying our products in dollars with an exchange rate of 4,000 to the dollar. If we run out of dollars, we will be forced to go home. Caps on exchange rates may do little if dollars remain in short supply and as long as there is little faith in the political and economic system. Zana Khadr Al-Jazeera, Beirut.